One of the best things about animals is that they don't discriminate. No matter who you are or where you're from, if you look after and care for a dog, it will most likely love you. On the other hand, no matter who you are, if you walk up to a dangerous animal and slap it in the face, it will probably attack you. This is why, unsurprisingly, some animals have attacked celebrities. But in most cases, it is not the animal's fault. I think it's fair to say that some celebrities are detached from the real world, and this includes the natural world. This often means that some celebrities will approach animals that they really shouldn't and end up being bitten. Some celebrities also have a weird obsession with keeping dangerous animals, and this again can lead to attacks. In this video, I'll be going through just a few occasions where animals have attacked celebrities, and we'll start off with the Atlantic Puffin. Now, there are three species that go under the common name of Puffin, but the one I'll be focusing on today is the smallest, and is known as the Atlantic Puffin. As you can probably guess from their name, they can be found throughout most of the North Atlantic Ocean, and are much loved throughout their native range. Some of you may notice that the Puffin looks quite similar to some penguins. Both of these birds are seabirds, but unlike penguins, Puffin Puffins can fly. They can fly at speeds of up to 55 miles per hour, but this does take some serious effort. Because their wings are quite short and stubby, they often have to flap their wings hundreds of times a minute to stay in flight. Although they're not the best wings for flying, they come into their own when the puffin goes underwater. Like penguins, they almost use their wings as paddles underwater, and this swimming ability makes them perfect fish hunters. When they're not in the water, they spend most of their time on cliff edges, as these are great places to stay away from predators. I think it's fair to say that the Atlantic puffin is not very menacing bird, but one did have an altercation with Gordon Ramsay. Now as I'm sure many of you know, Gordon Ramsay is a famous chef, but he is also very famous for being an angry, shouty man. Don't care. I care, You're chef. way behind and you haven't got a f***ing clue. Can we work together as a team? While Gordon Ramsay was filming for his show The F Word, he went hunting for some puffins in Iceland. Now puffins are listed as vulnerable, but they do have a large population in Iceland and they've been hunted here for generations. The decision to hunt these penguins landed him in hot water with the press, and it also didn't go down very well with the puffins. After capturing one puffin, he brought it close to his face to give it a kiss, and the puffin turned round and bit him on the nose. <laughs> Like my nose. This seemed like a mild injury at first, but this bite did require stitches. If this wasn't a big enough sign that he shouldn't be hunting these birds, while filming this segment he also fell down a large drop and landed in the freezing Icelandic waters. So I think this program proved that you really shouldn't mess with puffins. But our next celebrity attacker is the chimpanzee. Now these great apes are native to the forests and savannas of tropical Africa and have a very close relative in the bonobo. Chimpanzees are some of our closest living relatives, and because of this they show very similar behaviours to us and have impressive problem solving abilities. As I covered in one of my more recent videos, because chimpanzees exhibit behaviours very similar to us, many people fall in love with them and try to keep them as pets. This is of course very dangerous, as chimps do tend to have quite a dark side. Although they're probably most famous for being plant eaters, they also feed on other primates. They tend to prey mostly on red colobus monkeys, and when they catch these primates they kill them in a very brutal way. This is only just part of their dark side, as famously pet chimpanzees have been responsible for for serious attacks where people have been scarred for life. Despite these worrying attacks, some celebrities still keep them as pets, and famously one of these celebrities was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's chimp was called Bubbles, and he often dressed and treated him like a human. He was bought from a Texas research facility in the 1980s, and often travelled with Michael wherever he went. Surprisingly, this attack does not involve Michael, as Bubbles actually attacked Rashida Jones. Now as I'm sure many of you know, Rashida Jones is a famous actress, writer, comedian, and producer. Some of her her most famous characters are Karen in the office. And I turn it on and I say, prepare yourself for the Utica chain store massacre. No, that's that is incredibly dangerous. No, don't worry, the chain is off. And Ann Perkins in Parks and Recreation. I can't have cheese, Larry. And I can't have wine either. I can't have anything good. You know what I can have is liquefied flaxseed. But I don't want that. You know what I want? Pork rinds. I want jelly beans, and I want a huge trash bag filled with mashed potatoes. I want to be Pac-Man, and instead of dots, I want them to be cinnamon buns. I want to be a giant head and a mouth, and I just want to eat rows and rows of junk food pellets, and where's my trash bag of potatoes? <sighs> One slightly lesser known fact about Rashida is that her father is the famous American record producer, musician, songwriter, composer, and film and television producer, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones helped Michael throughout his early career, but they ended up having a very complicated relationship. In an interview in 2016, Rashida revealed that she had once been bitten by Bubbles. This was almost certainly at a time when Quincy and Michael were working together, and while Bubbles was with Michael, Bubbles bit Rashida on the finger, and this was enough to draw blood. She still has a scar to this day, and surprisingly, 
Surprisingly, Bubbles is still alive today as well. After Bubbles had matured into an adult, Michael Jackson relocated him to the center of Great Apes, and at 39, he remains here to this day. But by judging how most chimp attacks go, Rashida was very lucky. But our next celebrity attacker is the brown fur seal. The brown fur seal is the largest and most robust member of the fur seals, and they are often confused with sea lions. Fur seals and sea lions are closely related, and in fact fur seals are more closely related to sea lions than they are to true seals. In the water they're known to be very friendly towards divers, but on land they're known for being very skittish, and there is good reason behind this. As they are so clumsy on land, predators often target them, and for years they were overhunted by humans. This happens across their range, both in South Africa and in Australia. It was banned in Australia in 1923, and later in 1990 it was banned in South Africa. Despite this, sometimes they are still illegally poached, and as they are so clumsy on land, it is a very cowardly way to hunt an animal. Even though these mammals are mostly harmless, one did have an altercation with Shakira. During a holiday in Cape Town in 2012, it was reported that the singer was bitten by a sea lion. Now the mainstream media isn't very reliable when it comes to naming species, and although it is widely reported that she was bitten by a sea lion, as she was bitten in Cape Town it was more likely a brown fur seal. It appears that she approached the animal and tried to take pictures of it, and she believes that the animal was confused and mistook her phone for a fish. The reality is, if you're going to approach any wild animal, in most cases it will be hostile as a defence. It's best to leave most wild animals alone, and don't risk your safety for a selfie. Seals and sea lions do have the potential to be dangerous, and this was proved by this incident that happened a few years ago. <laughs> There's a photo showing a minor cut on her hand, but she later described the animal as a beast and thought that her life was at risk. But in reality, if you approach a wild animal, in some cases you will be bitten, as they are not tame pets. But our next celebrity attacker is the slow loris. Now there are several species of slow loris alive today, and most of these species are found in Southeast Asia. Now these unique mammals are in fact primates, and today they are one of the rarest primates on the planet. Their closest relatives are the African bush babies, but these primates are really unique. As you can probably tell from their big beady eyes, these primates are mostly nocturnal. In the wild, their diet is mostly made up by fruits, gums and nectar, but they also take meaty foods in the form of small birds, reptiles and eggs. Although these primates may not look very dangerous, they are hiding a dangerous secret. Slow lorises are the only venomous primates, and this venom can be quite toxic. This venom is powerful enough to rot flesh, and surprisingly this venom is mostly used on other slow lorises. Unfortunately, because these creatures are quite cute, they are often taken from the wild and sold to the pet trade. As they are notoriously hard to breed in captivity, almost all lorises in the pet trade are stolen from the wild, and this has had a disastrous effect on their numbers. Not only are they not suitable pets, but they are also very dangerous ones. There's infamous videos where slow lorises are tickled and lift their arms up, but this is in fact their defensive positioning. They usually do this just before they are going to bite, as they lick their glands underneath their armpits before they inflict a bite. And the celebrity on the receiving end of this bite was Lady Gaga. Now Lady Gaga is an American singer, songwriter, and actress, and has had many hit singles over the years. During the filming of one of her music videos, someone thought it would be a good idea to include a slow loris. During filming, Lady Gaga was nipped by this loris, and after this incident, the idea of using this primate in the video was dropped. It seems that Lady Gaga did not receive a venomous bite, and was bitten as a warning. In my opinion, this primate should have never been used in the music video at all, and they shouldn't be kept as pets either. And our final celebrity attacker is the Komodo dragon. Now if you were to list some of the most frightening creatures on this planet, I'm sure plenty of people would list the Komodo dragon. These reptiles are endemic to a few islands in Indonesia, and in these islands they are the apex predators. They are the largest extant species of lizard, and can grow a massive 3 meters long. As I'm sure many of you know, Komodo dragons are in fact venomous, and often bite their desired prey animal, and follow it around until it dies. This makes this reptile sound even more menacing, and you really do have to watch your back when you're around them. One person that will know this fact more than others is Phil Bronstein. Phil Bronstein is an American journalist and editor, and was once married to the American actress Sharon Stone. In fact, they were married when this incident happened, and it occurred at the Los Angeles Zoo. Bronstein was given a private tour of the zoo, and when he was given a tour of a Komodo dragon's cage, he was asked by the zookeeper to remove his shoes. This is because they can look like the rats that the Komodo dragons are fed. But after entering the enclosure, the reptile then attacked his shoeless foot. His big toe was crushed by the dragon's jaws, but eventually he managed to escape. After this he needed surgery to rebuild his toe, but luckily he survived the incident. So whether Komodo dragons are wild or captive, they are of course very dangerous creatures. If you know of any other celebrities that have been attacked by animals then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.